Hello and welcome to the Automation Anywhere A360 tutorial. This is our third video of Automation Anywhere A360 tutorial. In previous two videos, we have installed the control room and also see the features of the control room. And in this video, we are gonna discuss the concept of variables so let's start let's create a new bot as we created the folders in last video so we will create a bot in this folder automation a360 offers a variety of variables each designed to hold specific types of data and is intended for specific use in this session, we will learn more about each variable and how to use them. On the left hand side, you can see the variable palette and you can see there are different categories of variables such that your variable, predefined variable, system variable, etc. In simple word, credentials variables are for using saving the credentials values predefined value variables are which are predefined and user defined variable are which are defined by the user or we can say these are your variables means these are defined by yours so let's create variables to create and configure a variable perform the following steps from the bot editor click variables and create variable click on this plus icon at the top of the variable menu now select a data type from the drop down list you can see string number date time boolean file file is for the path of a control room or desktop file and credential is for storing the credential values means id and password and list is for ordered group of item and dictionary is an unordered list of or group of items it contains key and value pairs and a record is a one row in a table let's say if we have an excel sheet so the one row of that sheet is one record automate the excel in upcoming video and we will see the use of record and table data type form data type is for a form files instance and session is for an package session instance means when we open an excel file we use a session for this so let's create a variable having number data type let's assign a name to the variable and you can see the variable naming conventions on the screen and if you want to use this variable as input or output you can check these boxes so let's say i'm creating this as an input variable so whenever i run this task i will see a input variable pop up where i can input the value value of all the input variables and if we are going to call this task in some in some another task so we have to pass the input values while calling the uh, for calling the task we can use our variable as an output variable and when we call this task in some another task then this task will return some output value so these are some properties of a variable and now see when we now see when we use this message box we pass a value means we hard coded the value hello but we can also use the variables here see you can see this button x when we click on this button we can see a pop-up insert a value and from this drop down you can select the very uh, variable see i have selected this sample string variable and when we use this variable we this will contain 
dollar sign in the beginning and in the end let's use this action excel basic you can see this button here also now see this is the x button and here isn't any plus symbol but we can see a plus symbol here so means if this button contains plus symbol then we can create a variable so it will automatically select the type of the variable c session and the session type just we need to enter the name so from here also we can create the variables means if any property of the excel any property of an action needs some inputs and we can create the variable from here also and also we can insert the variable so it all depends upon the that button you can see that x button if it contains plus symbol then we can create our variable if it doesn't contain plus symbol then we can insert the variable only let's remove this excel basic open action and let's use this message box now insert a value you can select the variables we can see there are some variables available already some system variables so when we run the process it will show the value of that variable so if you want to see the value of a variable you can use this message box so means in case you are debugging a process and you want to see the value of a variable at a particular stage or means after a loop or inside a loop or in a if condition so you can use this message box to uh, to uh, to show the value of the variable or you can print the value of variable with this message box just give the name of that variable or choose the variable from this side or uh, from this drop down you can see there are some system variables just save the process and run and we are getting this uh, input uh, variables per uh, pop up because we have one input variable and uh, while running the process or uh, while running the board you must check this uh, board runner status there should be a green tick mark as i told in last video so this is the path of that task and in message box you can only print these string type of variables these all are string variables we can't print a number or some another data type if you give the if you give any uh, number variable in this message box so it will throw an error when we go to the variable tabs we can see these symbols in front of the variable names so this hash is for numbers data type and this double quotes is for the string data type and this calendar is for date data type so these symbols will tell you the type of these variables so this is all about the variables in a360 in upcoming videos we will use these variables in our actions and see the more features of the automation anywhere a360 thanks for watching guys mm -hmm.